Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's birthday reading. Um, so happy birthday to my client. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you on this wonderful day for you. Um, birthday readings. First, I gotta find my spread. <laughs> birthday readings are, um, there's a set spread that I, that I created to work with. Um, it's focused on finding all of the beautiful parts of who you are. It's just like a really positive reading. Um, it gives you, just makes you feel good. Here we are. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to be pulling multiple cards for this for you. Um, so I want to have it out this way I can see it. I guess I'll put it over here next to my coffee. Um, and I'm, there's seven there's seven positions in the spread, and I'm going to be pulling a, a tarot card and an oracle card for each one. And um, we'll begin. So let me just make sure everything is good. We're going to be working with the good tarot and the conscious spirit oracle. I feel like this is just a really pretty deck, and it's <clears throat> it's going to give you some stuff to think about for a more spiritual aspect, which I feel like when, it, when we're thinking about our birthdays, we are really connecting with ourselves. We're thinking about our, our life purpose, with, and which is actually the, today's message on my um, Instagram. It's all about your life purpose. So it's funny that... <laughs> <laughs> that this is the first reading that we do. Um, because I, like I said, I really feel like birthdays are significant for when we do question our what is our life purpose and, um, you know, what was I brought here to be on this planet for, you know? So <clears throat> that's what we're going to be kind of aiming towards. This tarot deck is beautiful. I think you'll really like it. <laughs> All right. So the first position is the self. We're going to be looking at you and your soul. You and your soul. <clears throat> okay, so we have um, the Ten of Air or the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Air, and Earth Angel. Earth Angel is, I am a guardian of Mother Earth and protect all who love her or all who live on her. <laughs> She's a protector of everybody who lives on Mother Earth, Mother Nature. So you have air and earth energy right now surrounding your vibe, okay? Um, earth energy is grounding, obviously. This is where we create. This is where we birth ideas, okay? Earth energy is a lot of, like I said, grounding. It's a lot of foundation. This is you planting seeds, watching them grow, this is your creative, your money, your materialist stuff, all of that kind of thing is is and it's rolled into the earth energy. The air is all about communication and your thoughts, okay? It's the way that you express yourself, it's the way that you think, it's what's on your mind constantly. Um it can also represent the stresses in your life. Um and the way that you express or lack of expressing to others, okay, in communication. So, um, to get these, they're real opposites, um, the, the air and earth, I feel. They're a very opposite um, vibe. They are not facing one another. And I feel like that's telling me that right now in your present time, you are not as connected um, elementally, I feel like you are at odds right now with communication with your thoughts. There's a lot of stress on your mind right now, and it may have to do with financial or um, foundational 
aspects of yourself. So your home life, um, bills, <clears throat> paying rent or mortgage, um, your job, money, like all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm seeing it as you're kind of at odds with one another. You're not, you're not seeing eye to eye. You're not grounded in those various areas in your life. Um, the Ten of Air is also a very problematic card when it, in, in the main, in the Rider Waite Tarot, it's the one where the guy is laying down with all the swords in his back. It's a card of either a need for surrendering or it is a card of be, feeling backstabbed and betrayed, okay? So the, the energy that I'm feeling for you is more so, this is on a personal level, I feel like you're just exhausted. I feel like you are just tired of constantly being in battle with other people, with things with yourself, not feeling grounded, not feeling completely just connected. Um, and I'm feeling like you're just, you, you really don't feel, you're not feeling it with certain people either in your life. I'm, I'm just getting that vibe. I'm feeling like there's not really some good communication going on and whatnot. So to see that as, as what's coming up for yourself right now, we want to learn, we want to really focus on changing this around, especially when it's talking about your birthday and we're talking about celebrating you. Um, we want to really get you to a point where you feel con comfortable with yourself. And I feel like with that is you really need to learn to surround yourself with people who really make you feel connected and who make you feel good. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this birthday is a good time for you to start focusing on certain individuals in your life or in your social circle who are no longer meant or should not be in it anymore. I also feel like this is a good time. Your birthday is a time to set or make a wish, especially because it's a magical day for you. So I'm all about when you blow out a candle, you make a wish. Um, make a wish for yourself. Set an intention that you really want to focus more on grounding those material, financial, all of those aspects of yourself so that you can start to feel more comfortable um, in your job or in your work life, in your home life. You know, um, maybe it's maybe you're looking for somewhere else to, to work or wanting to make a little bit more money, that kind of thing um, to be more stable. We want to see those those changes, and so I feel like for this this birthday, the the major intention that you should be setting is who is not communicating with you, and who do you feel kind of betrayed with? Um, those people should no longer be in your circle of friends. You know, that's that's kind of like where you should be aiming your your focus as far as other people go. Um, really, really learning to filter who is meant to be in your world and who's not. Um, as well as focusing on like this is it's all green so I'm really feeling this is a financial aspect so I'm feeling like um, you know how can you get yourself more comfortable with your finances okay so that's a really good intention to set for your birthday you know changing it around because technically your birthday is like your your own personal new year okay so think of it that way my love Next, we have the heart. This is your heart and your desires, what your passions are, love. We have justice. And we have Archangel Michael. I am grateful for the strength and courage Archangel Michael brings to my life. You have a very much protector energy. This is your guardian. This is your, your angel. So um, I do believe that we all have guardian angels. We all have spirit guides. And we all have just kind of like this holy army of people or beings um, that are around us on a daily basis. And um, Archangel Michael is coming forward to show you that he's there as a protector for you. He's a protector. He is, um, <coughs> he's all about um, strength and courage. And so he instills that in your heart. Um, that is a really cool thing to see because it's, it tells me that your heart is guarded by one of the most um, pronounced archangels you know that that there that there is um and that to have him having your back on that is um really it should be really comforting it's it's like he's protecting you um this could be due to past traumas this could be due to you know past heartaches um in situations like that so if you ever feel like you're alone or um that your heart isn't guarded it is you have someone backing you up especially in this present moment <clears throat> as we dive into this new year for you. 
Um, justice card coming up for the love life or for your, your passions and whatnot. Justice is telling me that you are really seeing what you deserve. You are seeing what you, all of this time that you have spent looking for love or dating and all, you know, all of that, you're really seeing love for what it is now. You are seeing how, how deserving you are of obtaining love that you know you worked hard for and it's it's kind of like you're 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 ready to receive the payout for all of the the hard work and the patience that you have been placing to receive love you have been wanting this this storybook romance right i feel it because i've read for you multiple times and i know that that's what that's ultimately that is what you're looking for and I feel like that justice card is saying this new year for you, this as you, you know, celebrate your birthday, I want you to focus on setting intentions of you receiving love that you know you deserve. The kind of energies that you are putting out into the universe, that is the type of people that you are going to be attracting back to you, which is why it's so important that we are so um positive and we do set intentions of treating people the way we want to be treated. You know, that's such a truth. Um, because the kind of people that we attract are technically the kind of energies that we're putting out. So, um, or, you know, they're attracted to the kind of energy that we're putting out. So if you want a really decent person and you, you want that amazing romance, put, start, start putting that kind of vibe out there. And with that comes ex, you know, you are embracing your own respect and you deserve respect. And that's the kind of love you want to have back. And so that's a really beautiful card <clears throat> to receive for the heart. It's just kind of telling me it's like you're, you've grown up a little bit, that you're realizing what your worth is. And that's, that's amazing. Um, number three, the positive, your strength. So what is your strength this birthday, New Year? We have the three of fire. I love it. So this is travel, okay? This is the strength of travel, but it's also, it's not just travel though. It's also the strength of... Um, you're not going to be fearful of diving into new things in your future, okay? So the, the little figure in the card is aiming forward. They're aiming towards the future. Um, this is not looking back. This is not looking into the past. Your strength is going to come when you are focused on the future, when you are focused on the next big thing in your life. And I really want you to focus on that for this new birthday, new year thing. Um, I really want you to focus on what good things are coming to you versus the, the things that you wish you had or the mistakes you made in the past or the regrets. I don't want you looking backward, my love. I want you to aim forward. So that's what this card is representing. Um, Wheel of Life. Wow, this is a nice one. I'm guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them. This is accepting that even though you went through bullshit or even though you went through rough times in your past, that you are learning and growing from them and that you don't let them hold you back. That's a beautiful card. Um, as your strength, your weaknesses, your past, your past traumas, your heartbreaks, your your negatives are all strengths for you. They are actually becoming pillars and solid ground for you. Um, it's basically saying everything that you've endured in life has a purpose. And just because it was a negative doesn't mean that it was time wasted. It's actually a strength. It's something that you are living and, and being able to come back from. Okay. So that's a powerful, that's a, it's, it's like receiving a renewal. Um, I, I really like that. I'm so glad that that came up for you because there might be times where you're feeling like you are like, like the card shows we have the light in the dark. There might be times where you feel like you are dealing with so much negatives that it's like, I'm not happy and I'm not progressing in life and this is only holding me back. Well, actually, it's making you stronger. So that's really cool. I hope that you enjoy that. <laughs> um, number four, the negative. So the lessons that you are to learn um, this birthday, New Year. We have Ten of Earth, Ten of Pentacles. Um, this is a card of togetherness, family. Okay, I always see Ten of Pentacles as a family gathering card. Um, this is also, again, money, okay? So lessons to learn. This is, to me, lessons in abundance in money or finances. This is um, abundance in, in time spent with family. 
um, a lot of socializing, that kind of thing. There's going to be little lessons for you to learn within that realm, okay, my love? So if you are already dealing with feeling um, stressed out about money and stressed out about your finances, let it be known that this birthday, New Year, there's going to be a little bit more of this bump in the road, okay? You're going to feel a little bit more... Um, maybe nervousness or um, unsettledness with money and that's just part of what it is. This is probably one of your hardest hurdles aside from seeking love, um, money and finances and just feeling grounded. That's probably one of the biggest struggles that you are, are currently dealing with in your life. So the 10 of earth is just kind of saying um, it's going to continue to be a lesson, but as long as you are aware that this is kind of the energy of what your lesson is going to be, um, you could start making changes, you know, and start focusing on ways that you could make your financial life a little bit easier. And by that is, do you need to save more money or do you need to budget or do you need to change your job or, you know, just start making changes that'll help you um, feel more comfortable. <clears throat> and then we have crystal ascension. This is I'm attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of the crystal kingdom. So crystals. Crystals are all about um, energy. They're, they're, they're like, they give you little bits of feeling. So if you have a crystal, like right now on the table, I always have amethyst because amethyst is my um, birthstone, but it's also a, a, a stone of psychic um, enhancement. So I like to have one on the table. Um, so I like to associate certain crystals for certain traits that I need more of to enhance for, for me. Um, if I'm feeling negative and I feel like I need to, you know, stop stressing out, like I'll usually carry a black stone with me because that to me, black symbolizes, um, cleansing and absorbing. Um, so for the crystal ascension card, I feel like your, your spirit is telling you, um, if you are into crystals or if you have certain crystals or you're feeling drawn to it, start utilizing crystals to help you feel more connected with yourself, but also use them for a way to release certain emotions to help you get through, you get you, get you through your day. Um, sometimes some crystal shops will offer crystal healing. So maybe you'll be interested in, in having a crystal healing session done for yourself. You know, that could also be another cool thing that you might enjoy. Um, but whatever the case may be, crystals is popping out to you. So you'll know what that means for yourself. If there's a specific crystal or maybe someone will gift you one for your birthday, you never know. <laughs> so just see what happens with that. But um, I always carry one in my purse. I have like a crystal for financial abundance in my wallet. I have the ones on my table when I read. I have some in my pocket. I mean, they're everywhere. So you never know. You might be drawn to do the same thing. <clears throat> then we have the head. This is what um what you show to the world this birthday new year. So we have seven of air or the seven of swords. This is what you are showing to the world. This card can sometimes be difficult. The seven of swords is usually about holding something back. Um, it could be <clears throat> lies. It could be manipulation. So what you show to the world, I feel like this is a challenge for you. This is a challenge for you to be more transparent, for you to not hold yourself back so much. This is a challenge for you to be more um, open with yourself, to show the world that you are capable of doing things that maybe you were afraid to do before. Um, this is to show the world your truth also. Don't live in, in secret. Don't live in lies. You know what I mean? Like... It's really, this is a time, this new year for you is a time to be honest with yourself. And we have balance. I love it. I understand and embrace the opposing forces in life that bring about balance. So another thing of how you can show or what you will show the world is balance. If you are balanced in yourself and you're not stressed out and you're not freaking out over like the, the typical things that you normally do, um, a lot of your friends and family will notice this about you and they'll see the change in you and they'll take you more seriously. Um, I also feel like, like I said, what you give out to the world, you're going to receive. So if you're putting out in the world your truth, you're going to receive a balance of people treating you with respect and being truthful and honest and transparent with you as well, which I think is a trait that you look for, especially in lovers. 
um, as I feel like like I'm sensing you um, deal with a lot of lack of trust with certain people. And so that's a good way to start it is you put out trust in your inner truth to receive it back. Um, next, we have energy, what to manifest this year for your birthday. We have the seven of fire. So manifesting this year, seven of fire is you really being the go-getter. Okay. Um, I see this as like, we have this beautiful unicorn standing on top of the mountain. It's like he has full blown control of what he's doing and where he's going. It's like he's on top of the world. So what you want to manifest this year is um, you feeling on top of the world, feeling you want to manifest just complete control. You want to manifest being um, a leader in your life. No more following what other people are doing. You want to manifest being a leader in your own life. And I think that that's very important. Um, that's a beautiful card. I'm so happy. I'm glad you got that, my love. We got integration. This is I combine body, mind, and soul to lift all of humanity into a new dimension. So if you are vibrating high, people around you will notice and they will most likely take part in the same way. If you are constantly depressed and complaining about life, you are going to hear it all over the place by other people that are around you. Because if you're complaining, they're going to complain. If you are depressed and, and, and not happy with yourself, other people that you hang out with will pretty much mirror the same kind of energy that you're putting out. And so I feel like this is saying, if you are manifesting that you're on top of the world and you're confident, you're going to notice that people around you are going to want to be mirroring that energy because it looks good and it feels good. So that's a really good focal point for you to manifest this birthday. And lastly, we have the wish. This is your future outlook for this new birthday, new year. And you have the queen of water. I love it. So the queen of water is intuitive. She's very... um psychically connected queen of water is also in tune with herself she's all about self-love she's all about truth she's all about self-care so this new year my wish for you is that you take care of yourself you take care of business you focus on your health you focus on your emotional state um, if you need to take a break sometimes you got to take a break you know what i mean if you got to shut off social media and your phone you do it um, focus a lot on self-care this new year and also tuning in to your psychic abilities, your intuition for one. Um, <clears throat> make certain decisions based on what your intuition is telling you um, this new year and you will notice that you'll be receiving so much more psychic um, premonitions and feelings and stuff when you're tapping in. And then we have nurturing the heart. I am a protective spirit and reach out to all life with love and compassion. So again, self-love. Lots of nurturing, love, mama vibes here this new year for you. So I do feel like this is a this is a year where you are paying attention to yourself. You are, like I said, this self-care, self-love on your part. Okay? This is you devoting time for you versus everyone else and all the stresses that you may have. Sometimes you got to take a time out. So, my love, this concludes your birthday reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you. I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the messages that came forward for you. They were really beautiful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Send me an email. Anyone who's watching, this reading is available on my website. So, you can click the link below. Check me out. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, my loves.